Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi there. In this video, I want to show you how to use QuickBooks Online to create a budget for your business. To do this, you need to have the Plus Edition of QuickBooks Online or the Advanced Edition. Let's go ahead and go to the upper right hand corner and click on the gear. After we click on the gear, we're going to go to Tools and then down to Budgeting. I want to create a new budget so that I can show you how to do this. I'm going to select Create New in the upper right hand corner. I can identify the type of budget I want, in this case, Profit and Loss. I can identify the period that I want. This says fiscal year 2023. The fiscal year for my sample file runs from January to December. For my budget format, I can have consolidated or subdivided. Right now, I want to keep things simple so that you understand how the budgeting works within QuickBooks. Later, we can go back and do subdivided and make it fancy. We're definitely not going to import a budget. We're just going to say, gosh, QuickBooks, what can you do for me? I'm going to select next in the lower right hand corner. So I'm, I'm creating a budget for the fiscal year 2023. I want to compare reference data. My reference data is the actual data for 2023 year to date. And then I'm going to do this on a monthly basis. And so it says year to date, here's my revenue. So this is good to know. Um, let's just, uh, I have a bunch of sample stuff in here. Let's imagine we're just going to work on consulting income. So my total for consulting income so far year to date is $23.49. And I want to say, well, I'm, I'm feeling ambitious. I think I can pick it up. I want to call it $5,000. When I select $5,000 here, it says $5,000 for the entire year. And then QuickBooks will distribute it across the months. So let's go back and let's say $23.49. We'll distribute across the months. And then we'll say, as I record this, it's the first part of September. And so from September through December, we're going to aim for bigger. So I'm going to say 250. And then I'll just click on the little blue arrow to the right and copy 250 across. I'm hoping, like I can't change the past, but I'm hoping from this point forward to do better. You can imagine that I do that for the various income accounts. Let's go into our cost of goods sold accounts. Let's do the same thing. We'll put 566 going across and we'll say starting in September, we intend to sell more. So we will probably spend more money um, on the goods and service we're buying to sell to our clients. This time I'm just incrementally adding $5. So I don't have to copy across. I can add whatever I want to every single cell. Let's go ahead and go down. Um, let's go to meals and entertainment. Um, I'm recording this just before dinner and I'm like, mm, meals. So um, on average, we spend about $50 a month. I think that it's realistic to say I probably spend 50 in September. In October, in my real life, I'm going to a conference. So let's ramp it up. November tends to be quiet, so we'll keep it at 55. And then December um, in Make Believe Land, where my team is all near me, we would ramp it up and maybe do an office lunch or something. So a little up, a little down. Let's go ahead and add one more thing. Um, office supplies. Let's add a budget for that. And we will just keep it the same as what it's been so far. So it occurs to me that I was thinking about that year to date number as he, here's the number if I spread it across. That's not true. That's the number divided by eight months. And so I grabbed my calculator and I'm like, yeah, that's wrong. Um, but that's okay. The whole point of this video is to show you how the budgeting works, not to show you how at the end of my day, I don't do basic math in my head. So we'll pretend that I filled this out and I'm very happy with it. Um, got my period. I've got my data. I can rename it in the upper left hand corner. So I'm going to say, I'm going to call it budget for YouTube 2023 September. So now I'll say save and close. That's just going to help me in a few minutes. 
So I have my budget set up. We'll enter the land of make believe and imagine we wanted to edit our budget. If we want to edit the budget, we go to the gear, we go to tools, we go to budgeting, we find the budget, such as the one we just worked on. Click the drop down to the right of the budget. We can say view edit and we can make any corrections we want. The reason we created the budget is so we could establish what we're hoping to do in terms of sales and how much money we're hoping to spend or not spend. So the second step is to review how close are you to your budget? So it, an easy way to do that is to go to reports. Once in reports, I just go straight to the upper right hand corner. I type in the keyword of what I'm thinking of. In this case, I'm thinking of my budget. And I'm going to say, QuickBooks, can you show me the budget versus actuals? So what did I budget and what did I really do? So here's my budget versus actuals. Before I start to look at the budget versus actuals, I'm going to collapse it. I'm going to click collapse in the upper left hand corner. And so now it's just a little bit easier to read. I can see my various types of income. I had budgeted to have consulting income of 195, but I actually had $0 in consulting income. I budgeted to have $0 in bookkeeping income, but I actually had $1,000 in bookkeeping income. You can see the difference between the under over on your budget. When I get down to total income, I had a total income of $1,000. I budgeted to have 195. So this is great. I'm over budget by 804. I'm happy about that because I'm over budget in terms of my income. Now, when I look at my cost of goods sold, I had, um, I had budgeted to spend $47. My actual is that I spent zero. So I'm under budget by 47. So I'm happy about this. Um, I recognize that it's a negative number, but I really spent less than I planned on spending. So kudos to me. As I work my way down to the expenses, you can see how things went. So my office supplies, I anticipated that I would spend $14.93. Basically, I budgeted $15. In, my, in reality, I spent $109. I spent $94 more than I expected. Or said worse, I spent 730% more than I expected. As I work my way down, you can imagine what this would look like if you filled in the budget for yourself line by line. What are you hoping you're projecting? Take a look at this on a regular basis and it will let you know how things are going. Maybe you need to adjust and adapt. Maybe things are busier. Maybe things are slower. Maybe you've added a service line. Maybe you've taken away a service line. The whole point of this is just to show you what QuickBooks budgeting can do for you. I talk about report customization in a different video. I'm going to encourage you to save your budget and then set it up to be emailed to you on a schedule to ensure you're always on top of and aware of where do you stand with regard or respect to your budget. Thank you so much for watching. If my team or I can help you, please don't hesitate to reach out. We offer courses, one-on-one -on -one training, as well as bookkeeping. Bookkeeping can be one project where we get something caught up for you or it can be maintaining your books. If you've looked at QuickBooks, you've decided that it's your jam, but that you don't want to be the bookkeeper in charge. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day.